Health Tips, brought to you by St. Joseph's Hospital. Good evening and welcome to Health Tips, St. Joseph's monthly wellness information program. I'm your host, Dennis Sweeney. My guest today is Sandy Robinson, who's the clinical director of St. Joseph's Hand Management Center. Sandy will talk about how to keep your hands safe by practicing snowblower safety. Welcome, Sandy. Thank you. Sandy, what type of snow usually results in snowblower hand injuries? It's the heavy, wet, slushy snows that occur usually on days that are over 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what can a person expect to experience after they've had a snowblower injury? It totally depends on the magnitude of the injury. It can be very extensive and include amputations, tendon injuries, nerve injuries, fractures. Uh, they will all undergo surgical repair of whatever the injury is, followed by a rather extensive hand therapy program to restore function. Now, in order to avoid any type of hand injury while snowblowing, what should people do if their snowblower jams? First of all, turn it off. Uh, wait a few seconds, five to ten seconds, to make sure that the blade has stopped. Remember that it's still clogged. And basically, at that point, grab a stick, a broom handle, something other than your hand to unclog the snow. The fact is that it has to be turned off for a few seconds. People may think it's turned off and it's good, though. Absolutely, yeah. Sandy, what final words of advice, then, do you have for people as they begin to start up their snowblower this winter? I basically tell people, when you walk out that door to go for your snowblower, think about safety. Have a stick ready, have a broom handle ready. Thank you very much, Sandy. You're I'm Dennis Sweeney. I've been talking with Sandy Robinson, Clinical Director of St. Joseph's Hand Management Center. Please be sure to join us again next month at the same time for our next edition of Health Tips. Until then, have a happy and healthy month. Health Tips has been brought to you by St. Joseph's Hospital.